All right, so I thought I would uh, make a short little video just so you guys can see and understand all the pain and suffering I go through to make all these great things. This is all the skirt steak. It's already got the marinade made and sitting there in a bag. Bunch of bags in there, lots of good marinade. So what goes into the marinade? Well, here's some chicken that's already done. That's all the chicken. The chicken is what I got left to do. I've already done the steak. There's some cilantro. I've already chopped all that up. There's a whole bunch of extra garbage that I don't need anymore. Here's where the chicken comes from. Nice, awesome from Costco. Costco, highly recommend Costco. Love Costco. Good, good, good meat. All right, so we have three Ziploc bags and we have two of these right here go into one Ziploc bag. It's about two pounds. So that's what my marinade is for, is to actually make two pounds. Now, of course, with any good marinade, you have to have a really good drink to go along with that. And since New York Airbrakes policy is zero tolerance, um, yeah, I'm not going back to work after this. Haha. <laughs> so anyway, we've got lime juice, we got soy sauce, we have liquid smoke. We have some good kosher salt, some nice fresh ground pepper, some cayenne, very important. We have uh, garlic. I prefer to get the garlic in these great little tiny pouches because then I don't have to peel them. I can just pull out five or six, chop them there, put them down, chop them. I can press them, crush them, which is what we're doing here. So we end up with garlic pieces that are buried within all this because all this stuff, I mean, we just pour it out when we go to actually do the cooking. So, I think that's all my ingredients. Oh, olive oil. Gotta have olive oil in the marinade. So, I'm gonna try to actually show you the making of one of these. Hopefully, I don't have an iPhone stand because I'm not that cool. Hopefully, that's actually showing you everything I'm doing here on the board. So, the first thing we gotta do, get our chicken into the bag. So. It's really important whenever you do chicken that you kind of be careful because chicken, they're very nasty animals by themselves. So I usually fill up the bag here with some water, just like that. And then get all that nasty out there, just squeeze it, it comes out. I usually do it at least twice because honestly, it's all gonna cook off anyway, but it just gets the gooey, ugh, yeah. maybe it's just me. It'll all cook off. I mean, we're, we're putting this on a grill that's gonna get these things to 175 degrees, so not really gonna matter. So then you got your washed chicken. This is the easy way to do all this marinating prep. So dump that in there, open up your second one. It's also really helpful to have some good country music going on like this. Helps you get going. Everything a holic. There we go. So again, same thing. Just rinsing off the meat here. Oh my god, they just said ass. I don't know if that's a permissible. <laughs> But you want to get most of the water out if you can. Close enough. Now you could take this all out and trim it up and spend a whole lot of time getting all that stuff done. But it's all going to just render off when it's cooking on the grill. All that fat's just going to sizzle on down because it's not hard fat. Not like you get on a brisket or a pork butt. Uh, this chicken fat is just going to render right off when we go. So the first thing we got, we got some lime juice. We got a quarter cup of lime juice. And I think that one's done. Yep. See, I planned for that. I already got my other lime juice in here. So there's my lime juice in. We've got a half cup of water. That's two quarter cups. Unless my math really sucks, which you can ask Matt, sometimes it does. So, it's the quarter cup, and then uh, we got two tablespoons of olive oil to go in. 
And these are really, I mean, it's a marinade. You don't have to be exact, so just kind of go with the flow there. So two tablespoons of olive oil, then we get uh, two teaspoons of soy sauce. We take a half teaspoon of liquid smoke. And you notice I was really exact with that. We got a teaspoon of kosher salt. Again, oh my God, so, so done. Cayenne pepper. I usually do a little more than the recipe, so maybe that's like a half tablespoon right there. And we have black pepper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That is about a teaspoon. And I got about uh, five or six pieces of garlic here. When you got them all nice and peeled, you don't have to worry about anything. Just smash them up, because all you're doing is re releasing the juices. And the last thing, we got some cilantro over here. Grab that, dump it in the bag. So, there we go. Now, just seal it with all that air in there. And then we just twist it, dump it all around, get it all good mixed up. Want to get it all good and mixed up. Because you got all that cayenne, you don't want any of that sticking in one place. You want it all mixed in. And you want the cilantro to really mix around as well. And then when you're done with that, just pull it a little bit. And there we go, right down to where the liquid starts to bubble up. Seal it, and boom, into the refrigerator. I hope you have enjoyed 